Imagine with me a world where every child, regardless of where they were born, has access to quality education. A world where good medical care can reach even the most remote corners of the globe. How can we make this vision a reality? The answer lies in AI. And funnily enough, I wrote this whole introduction using just AI, but today I wanna to talk to you about how we can embrace the extraordinary powers of artificial intelligence to make these visions a reality. And don't worry, this isn't the start of some robot uprising, it's just the start of some amazing possibilities. Today, I wanna to begin with the story. Picture a young man living in Nepal, in the remote village of Bwipa, a village not even located on maps until the most recent decade. Here, he wakes up early in the morning, carries his brother on his back, and traverses the mountainous regions of the Himalayas, crossing rivers and forests just to get to school. Upon his arrival at home, he takes care of the family's crops, his family's only means of survival. And after taking care of the family, he begins his homework under the light of homemade candles as his village is not connected to the electrical grid, similar to many of the remote villages in Nepal. This man was my father. In fact, his first experience with a computer was when he moved to the capital of Kathmandu at just the age of 18 to pursue a higher education. His story is played out by millions around the world, even today. In Nepal, only around 0.437% of the population owns a computer, and this stark digital divide limits opportunities for millions. But what if AI-optimized satellite networks could help with that? By optimizing these networks using artificial intelligence, we can provide high-speed, affordable internet access to re remote corners of the globe. And even though I don't live in a remote corner of the globe, my internet always seems to tank when I'm doing important tasks, such as playing video games. However, companies like SpaceX's Starlink are already using AI to enhance data transmission and connectivity, making internet access a reality to underserved communities like my father's home country of Nepal. Next, let's talk about resource distribution. Artificial intelligence can help smartly deploy and distribute resources. Modern advancements have led to systems where AI can analyze supply chains and identify cost-effective solutions, ensuring computers reach those who need it most. This ensures better planning and a more efficient use of resources. Think of it as the world's most tireless cof in <laughs> coffee manager, most tireless inventory manager who never takes a coffee break. One real world example of this is One Laptop Per Child, or OLPC, an initiative that uses AI to manage its logistics and distribution. By leveraging predictive analytics, OLPC can better understand which communities will benefit most from their computers, ensuring children in the most underserved areas get the technology they need to succeed. This approach not only saves money, but also improves the outreach of educational technology programs. Speaking of education, the statistics are concerning. As of 2021, 258 million children are not enrolled in school, including 59 million primary school age children. Compounding this issue is the quality of education with 617 million youth and adolescents failing to reach minimum proficiency levels in reading and mathematics. This is where AI offers a transformative opportunity to tackle these challenges head on. Consider predictive analytics, a powerful tool that can pinpoint students at risk of dropping out and offer targeted support. For example, Georgia State University uses a model that monitors student progress by tracking thousands of variables such as grades, attendance, and extracurricular participation to identify these struggling students. Once the model flags a student, advisors can step in and offer personalized support, such as academic tutoring, counseling, and even financial aid. Through this proactive approach, the university has managed to boost retention rates by 3.5% and graduation rates by 7%. And yes, the model can flag if you don't do your homework. However, it can't do it for you but hey, at least you'll know you're in trouble early. Now, picture this, a student living in the inner city. Here, living in poverty, the student struggles to balance schoolwork 
with our household responsibilities. However, these systems can identify the student at risk of dropping out, and then the school can offer targeted support, such as academic tutoring and even financial aid for school supplies. With this extra help, the student excels in their exams, secures a scholarship for a university in a larger town, and eventually returns back to their city as a teacher to inspire others to follow their dreams. If these systems were implemented globally, every student could get the help that they need to succeed. Many students, including myself, hate having to ask questions in class. Personally, I feel like I actually tire my teacher out by asking the same questions again and again and again. And don't get me started. It's even worse when, I ask, when I'm zoning out and I ask the same question that the kid before me just asked. But that's more of a me problem. The point is, not asking questions in class can actually lead to a decline in learning. This is where digital classrooms and AI-powered tutors offer another game changer. These technologies make quality education more accessible by continuously monitoring and updating content based on student interactions. AI systems offer interactive lessons, real-time feedback, as well as personalized tutoring. For example, Squirrel AI an AI-driven educational platform uses machine learning to assess a student's strengths and weaknesses and then builds a customized learning plan. This not only improves academic outcome, but improves a student's confidence and motivation. These tutors are like having a tutor that can answer any question that you have. And this is something that I need because my usual nights consist of me staying up late, flipping through my calculus textbook, trying to figure out what's going on. Usually, I just end up going to sleep and figuring it out the next day. But that just shows how these models can really help us all. Education is just one piece of the puzzle. Healthcare is another significant area where AI can make a critical impact. The World Health Organization estimates that at least half of Earth's population lacks access to essential health services. And the shortage of healthcare workers is another significant challenge. With an estimated global deficit, of around 18 million workers by the year 2030. This should honestly scare us all. However, AI-driven educational platforms offer interactive and personalized training content to a vast number of healthcare workers simultaneously. This not only accelerates the training process, but expands the workforce much quicker than traditional methods. In rural India, villages are already taking advantage of these platforms and accelerating their training process and healthcare delivery. For example, in Rajasthan, young community healthcare workers use an AI-powered app to help deliver medical knowledge, diagnostic support, and even administer treatments under the supervision of doctors in larger towns. This not only empowers healthcare workers to deliver critical healthcare efficiently, but also connects their village to a broader healthcare service. Coursera's AI for Medicine specialization is a prime example of how AI is being used to teach healthcare workers about AI applications. The course covers a range of topics, ranging from interpreting medical imaging to understanding the genetic makeup of diseases, all taught through interactive modules that adapt to each learner's style and pace. It's like turning every smartphone into a mini medical school, which can help save money, time, resources, and more efficiently cut down the healthcare deficit in the field. IBM Watson Health uses artificial intelligence to analyze the genetic makeup and medical history of an individual to provide personalized cancer treatment options. Watson's, by examining large amounts of data, Watson can identify patterns and suggest treatments that may have been overlooked before. And this can help improve outcomes and quality of life. One compelling real life example is of Geraldine Jerry Lau, a retired teacher who was diagnosed leukemia in 2017. Her treatment options were limited due to her age and aggressive nature of her cancer. However, her oncologist turned to IBM Watson Health to provide a personalized cancer treatment option based on her genetic data and medical records. Watson's analysis identified a drug that had previously not been considered before that specifically targeted Jerry's leukemia cells, and this eventually led to her life being saved. This case 
is a prime example of how AI is being used to enhance oncologist expertise by being able to exam examine complex data sets and then identify drugs that may have not been looked before through the examination of the genetic data and medical histories of each individual. Artificial intelligence has the extraordinary power to bridge the digital divide, enhance education access and quality for every child, provide medical care to those who need it most, and bring justice and opportunity to marginalized communities. In countries like Nepal, remote villages like Buipa are finally beginning to connect to the world through high-speed internet access, allowing children to access quality education from home and bring critical medical care to even the most isolated communities. By embracing AI, we can create a future where everyone is given the opportunity to succeed. Ultimately, only we can create a more equitable world where everyone is given the chance to rise, to dream, and to achieve. And if AI can help me with my calculus homework, imagine the amazing impact it can make on our world's most pressing challenges. Thank you.